Hello and welcome to Much To Say About Nothing, the show where we test you on the oddballs and muck-ups of current affairs. On the show tonight are two teams will be competing to see who knows the most about the headlines that have caught our eye. Stay tuned for a whole load of quizzes and games to test the knowledge of these wonderful contestants and find out which one will take home the bragging rights today. Before we start though, let's have a look what's been in the news recently. So over in Australia, a teenage boy has made the headlines as Egg Boy for attacking an Australian politician with an egg. He has now become the natural enemy of the far right and vegans who prefer to use a, a more alternative uh, solution. Uh, also, viewers of The Voice have noticed that the panel of judges have been wearing the same outfits week to week, which is quite shocking because I didn't realise The Voice had regular viewers. <laughs> Elsewhere, neuroscientists have found out that the brain isn't actually adult until you reach your 30s, which has given thousands of students excuses as to why they've taken on so much debt, why they got with Darren at Cameo, and indeed why they're taking sports science as an actual proper degree. <laughs> And, and for, as for the weather, Storm Gareth has been battering our, our coastline recently, which is seemingly named after a divorced accountant struggling through his midlife. Uh, but you'll be pleased to know that the weather will be into the mid-twenties, so there's not, uh, not going to be a shortage of small talk for the British people. Uh, but we're going to avoid the small talk today. We're going to talk about the big stuff, the headlines, and meet our teams. To our left, we have the wonderful red team, captained by Rowan. Rowan, would you like to introduce your teammates today? Yes, hello. So on my right, she's feisty, she's fierce, and a lot of her face is Piers. It's Liv Morris. Hello. And on my left, you can take Essex out of the girl, but you can't take the girl out of Essex. It's Ella McCarthy. Hiya. Fantastic. Lovely to meet you all. How do you think you're going to fare today? Uh, yeah, I think we'll be pretty good. We're a strong team. Good. Do you read the news? Do you watch the news? Um, we skim through the news. I'm more of a Twitter person. Yeah. Twitter person. Fair yeah. enough. You get the, like, the moments when you click the search button. Yeah, see that's the... where I wake up and I'm like, oh, this is happening. See today. what's happening in the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love those stuff. What's, what's been like your, your main news that you've seen this morning? Then you woke up, checked Twitter, what was all over it? It's like the Madeleine McCann thing still. So, mm. Like every day I'm like, new thread. <laughs> yeah. It's a, lots of documentary sort of stuff like that. Fantastic. Well, lovely to meet you, Red Team. Let's go over to the blue team now. Uh, captained by the wonderful Jake. Jake, would you like to introduce your teammates? Yeah, absolutely. So to my right, we've got the beautiful Northern James, even though he lives in Spain, so not really that Northern. Um, and then we've just got Adam. Not really much you can say about Adam, just, just you know. Just boring, really. Yeah, it's the average Adam. Average Adam. <laughs> average Adam. <laughs> you, are you called a lot worse? Mm. Uh, are you going to be average at this game, though, Adam, or are you going to be... You be I hope not. You hope not? Probably below average. <laughs> below average. <laughs> well, so you, you don't follow the news, then? You don't? Well, I hope I do. I, I hope I'm pretty good. I am a journalism student. You're a journalism student? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. This is, uh, we've been rehearsing all afternoon and you've not shown any signs of that. Uh, but hopefully <laughs> you'll, be, uh, you'll, be <laughs> you'll be better in the actual game. Uh, what about uh, you, James, at the end? How do you think it's going to go? I think we're going to do really well. We've got a strong team, apart from Adam. Yeah. Like. Strong dynamic duo. We're nice. Do well. we're dynamic do well. duo and Adam. I mean, yeah. Awesome. Average stuff. Adam. Do you, do you like our set? Do you like this? Yeah, it's beautiful. Good. It reminds me of um, when you had the uh, the art classes in school. You just lay down all the yeah. papers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see, there was a woman that found out her uncle was arrested through that and laid down the papers, saw an article when they were painting. Yeah, yeah. Things you can find out. Hopefully, we can find out some exciting stuff in our first game, uh, which is more of a discussion, really. We're going to see some headlines and pictures up on the screen. Uh, we're going to see your thoughts on them, whether you know anything about them. So let's go to our first one. Be loading any time now. <laughs> Naked man crashes car, then led police on a bizarre nude foot chase. <laughs> so, uh, what do we make of this red team? Sounds like a good night out in Bournemouth to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me struggling to come home after a night out, I'd say. <laughs> but now, nah. I don't know. It's, a, it's a very odd. Each of their own nudists could be an up and coming thing in 2019. Yeah, maybe maybe this is the trend that we're going to see. What about what about you guys? Do you think? I mean, it's 2019, like free the nipple and everything else apparently. Yeah, I think that's a, a <laughs> bit more than nipple there, but uh, <laughs> I mean, where, where is he going? <laughs> like he's on a I don't farm. think that's a, I think that's just a picture of a naked man. I don't think that's from the actual story. Uh, <laughs> let, let's see what the next story is. Rabbits pictured surfing on sheep's backs to escape rising floodwaters. Quite a tragic one, actually. It's quite, quite a sad <laughs> one to go into. Quite genius. What do you think of um, what do you think of this? Do you think it's quite genius? Quite genius, yeah. Yeah, just surfing on. Oh, you're just getting ready for that summer board. It's you know. quite trustful of the sheep. They don't they don't even know how to swim. Have you ever seen a sheep swim? Um, Adam. 
Oh, uh, yeah. All the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Common occurrence in Cornwall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The red, red team over here, we yeah, see. Yeah, I love this. I literally love rabbits, so yeah, they need to be protected from the floodwaters. So. Survival of the fears out here. Yeah. 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 On the God. farms. It's Natural pretty selection. brutal. Surfing bunnies, the uh, <laughs> only ones that are going to evolve. Uh, next one, another marine one. Man is caught by a whale and lives to tell the tale. So I assume he was eaten and, and lived in a whale's stomach. And it's, uh, what do we think of that red team? Well, it's probably nicer than student accommodation. So. Yeah, it's, uh, that's definitely a step up, Maybe isn't comfier, it? Maybe comfier, warmer than most of our houses as well. Well, yeah. they'll, prob they'll probably find a way to charge rent for it, I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> well, blue team, what do you think Still about? better than living in post-Brexit Britain. Post-Brexit, yeah. but all gone political. Oh. Nice, nice bit of satire over here. How did he get out of the whale? That is a good question, whether he kind of like, kind of, um, you know, alien it. style, kind of came through the stomach like that. Yeah, maybe the blowhole oh. came out the top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, all right. Made an exit. Let's see our final headline the then. Meet the Brexit prepper, or talking about Brexit, who won't fight over the last loaf of bread. We, are you prepared? Are you prepared to fight for a whole meal? Yeah. I mean, in student houses, sure, we fight over food all the time. Yeah. Would, would, you, would, you, would you murder someone for a bit of King's Meal? Oh, it depends. Warburton. Maybe not King's Mail. Maybe, no. yeah, Warburton's just, definitely. Just a better brand. Well, yeah. there, we, there we go. Those are, our, those are our headlines, and that was our headlines and pictures round. Thank you for taking part. Uh, before we move on to our next round, we need a bit of time to, to set it all up. So in the meantime, we're going to show you a video of our very own Rowan out on the streets questioning students to see what they know about the countries of the world. Look away, geography teachers. So how is your knowledge on geography? Uh, I actually did A-level geography, so oh, okay. it so should be quite good. Yeah, you should we'll be good see. at this. Okay, well we'll see. How many um, countries can you name in Africa? In Africa? Um, I know that one of them is... No, see, I think Burkina Faso, but I don't know where that is. It's up here. Somewhere. Yeah, I can't help you with that. Kenya. <laughs> Kenya, yeah. Egypt. We don't run that. Yeah. Then you've got like well, South Africa down there. Yep. Can you find Japan on this map? Um, is it that one? Yeah. <laughs> Japan is actually there. So close. Yeah, I didn't know that either, to be fair, but you were close. <laughs> Japan is there. Yeah, Japan oh. is there. That is correct. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Can you tell me where Iceland is on this map? Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Iceland. It's that little one, isn't it? Yeah. Can you find New South Wales on this map? I'll give you a clue, it's not in Wales. Is it not? Absolutely not. Is it in America? No, it's actually down here. Oh. Can you find Germany on this map? Germany, yeah. Yeah, that is correct. Oui. So what about Jamaica? Can you find Jamaica on this map? My country's hometown around this oh. a skinny ass island. Yeah, that is it. I'm it's really then, skinny. Uh, can you find Jamaica on this map? Yeah. Have a go. No, not that one. Jamaica. Uh, you say like this one? Yeah, nearly. Almost. I'm gonna say like yeah, this that one. Yeah, that one. Perfect. Well done. Ugh. I know Chile is like a really skinny country. Yeah, that's right. You got Mexico. Yeah. Argentina. Where's Mexico? Oh, Mexico's here. I think. That's no. actually Brazil. That's Brazil. Yeah. Mexico is here. Ah, Brazil. How many countries in Africa can you name? I can name, uh, no, I don't know how many, but I can name quite a lot. Try and, and point them okay. out for me. Nigeria, Ghana, yep. South Africa, yep. Kenya, Madagascar, yep. Ethiopia, yep. Um, yeah, 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 I think you're right. Madagascar, yep. about Uganda, um, Angola, I believe. Oh, it's Chad. Isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's Chad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then there's um. What about this one? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. I know that's Egypt. Uh, <laughs> South Africa. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Okay, you're pretty good at this. How do you know so many countries? Oh, um, I've always, when I was younger, I used to love looking at maps and stuff. Oh, okay. And I had a map in my room as well that had all the lists of countries and stuff. 
So there we go. Uh, not not too great. Although that man at the end there, he was pretty good looking at maps. Uh, how, how did you find it? Did you know many of those countries before you did this? Well, yeah. Prior to this game, I thought I had quite a good knowledge of the world map, but um, apparently Mexico and Brazil aren't in the same place. So yeah, no, maybe not. Quite a big, <laughs> much bigger area to get a, a wall around for Trump. I, I like that you you were giving people correct answers, but you weren't sure yourself. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, "That's Japan." And you're like, "Yeah, correct, correct." Yeah. So, how, how do you think you would do at the the map game over here on the blue team? I reckon we've got our, you know, our map sense together. I reckon we could thrash the red team a little bit with our map sense. Yeah, well, let's, sense, let's put right? it to the test. Yeah, let's right. see <laughs> if you can name countries. We'll start with the blue team uh, on the questions. Can you point to Madagascar? Well, fantastic. Yes, and that's Ad Adam, the, the last one there. Just wait for all the fingers <laughs> to go down. <laughs> of course, set <laughs> setting of the DreamWorks animation. Absolute classic. Uh, yeah. Over here on the left, uh, would you, did you know Madagascar? Would you uh, have got that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. Cool. <laughs> so it's always easy to say that when you've not had to, but I'll believe you, I'll believe you. Um, let's go for Argentina. Where is Argentina on that map? Um, Someone else hit the wheel. I feel <laughs> like Argentina is down here. It is. You, you, oh, you've pointed okay. exactly to the yeah, right one, right next to Chile, one of those skinny countries that was <laughs> kept being talked about. It was quite obsessive, really. It was weird. <laughs> Jamaica is a skinny country. Um, over here, uh, let's, um, let's stick in the same kind of, kind of ballpark. Let's see if you can find Cuba. Ooh. That's that one there, isn't it? Yeah, that one. Yes, correct, correct. Right in the Caribbean there. Uh, it's because it's neck and neck so far, no one's slipped up. Let's go a bit harder then over here. Can we find <laughs> Oman? Amen. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, we're, all, we're all looking for a man, but <laughs> <laughs> we are. Um, uh, I don't know where I'm gonna go is. with I feel like it will be in this kind of area. Let's go with this one. So close. So I think nice. you were just one country off. It's just this south of that, I'm afraid, yeah. Oh! But, um, good I've effort. Good. Though, but yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll make it challenging for these guys as well. So, um, so let's see if you can find Djibouti. We're looking for a man <laughs> and a booty. Can I've you find got Djibouti. I don't Djibouti. know if I can find Djibouti. Is that um, a country? It is a country. It's a real, genuine country. Um, I feel like Djibouti. it's going to be... Hold on, I can't see the map because it's upside down. Like here? Around here? So what you think is that complete guess? Oh, yeah. Can we go there? Yeah. It's like that. Here's the finger. Let's no, take I that. think that's actually Cambodia. Djibouti oh. is just next to Somalia, uh, um, near oh, Africa, so kind of that west west coast there. Oh, wow. uh, but but good attempt. So it's, we both dropped points now. I think it's still an neck and neck. We've got to get a winner eventually. Um, so we're going to go quick fire now. Uh, left over here. Where is Kazakhstan? Uh, Kazakhstan is um, this one. Correct. There we go. Yes, uh, yes, that, is, that is that is the end of the game. We've done we've done mm. one each and. You won. You oh, got the extra lovely. point. We well done, quick guys. Fire. Uh, so well done, guys. We move on to our next game, uh, and this game we have a ball pit, and on the balls are quotes from either Kim Kardashian or Donald Trump. So either someone with a massive rump or Donald Trump, internet breaker or deck chair breaker, <laughs> underqualified, overpaid reality star or underqualified, overpaid reality star. <laughs> <laughs> so team captains, you will be uh, competing in this if you make your way to the game area. Oh, this is... Oh. Long line. Oh, One woman in the crowd attempted to clap you there, but there wasn't enough uh -huh. enthusiasm. Yeah. Uh, let's see how well you do. Don't you have 30 worry. seconds. We only want the balls with the quotes on them. Cool. Your time starts in three, two, one, go. Long Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Ones Only ones with quotes on, yeah. How do you feel Jake's going to do over on the blue team? Yeah, close to you as well, Rowan. Smash in, yeah. That's it. Oh, that's you go deep in there. <laughs> the pink one forwards. It's on top. Where your left, left hand is. All right, you've only got, you've only got five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> grab and go, go one. And that is time up, please. We well, we Take well. your buckets <laughs> really well. back like, to your seat. <laughs> Right, so what's going to happen now is you're going to take a ball out, read it to your teammates, and you see uh, whether you think it's Kim or Trump. Got it? Yeah, got it. Fantastic. We'll start over with the red team to read a quote out. So if you take a ball out, uh, read it aloud. Yeah. <clears throat> so this one says, my whole life is about winning. Your whole life is about Definitely winning. Definitely Donald Trump. Yeah, yeah Trump. I would think so. Does that sound very Trumpy? Mm. Are you, are you quite confident election that? Well, if you peel back the, the label, there will be a name on it. And what does it say? Trump. Trump. Trump, congratulations. Yeah. It's like a little kinder egg. <laughs> 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 
Okay. Finally, some, some enthusiasm from the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> you've, ins you've instilled it in them. Lovely. Let's go over to the blue team then. What do you What do you guys got? They say I look a different ethnicity. Ooh. Who do we think this is? Do we think orange Ooh. Trump or tanned Kim? I'm gonna go Kim. Kim? What do you no, think? it's Trump, isn't it? Definitely. I don't. You'd have a choice. I, I feel like you, you've, you've really been the, the bullied person in this team yeah, here. Yeah, I'm just Adam. Adam. I believe in you, Adam. If you've got, if you've got this right, I'll, I'll go to you for the next answer. Yeah. Should we go? Uh, no, let's no, go, no, Adam. Go, go Kim, go Kim, go okay. Kim. Go Kim. We'll go Kim. 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 Who is it? Oh, it won't come off. Kim! Kim, there we go. I'm afraid <laughs> they were right to bully you, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> let's go back over to the red team then. Let's yeah. get another quote from the bucket. <clears throat> Oh, it's quite a long one. Oh. Sorry, losers and haters, but my IQ is one of the highest, and you all know it. Please don't feel stupid or insecure. It's not your fault. That's definitely, definitely Trump. Trump. Definitely Trump. Definitely Trump. Trump. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's sort of peel it back and see. Trump. Trump. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Still yet to drop any points over here with the blue team. Ooh. I am the true definition of a workaholic. Oh, this is a this is a tough Ooh, one. I that's think. Hard, that. I reckon. It's Kim, you know, she loves to work, work hard with her salads and the, you mm -hmm. know, the screen. Beach picks. Oh. That beach picks, you know. Yeah. So are you going to go for... We're going to go for Kim. Let's read it out then. Oh, if we can get it off again. Kim! Kim, congratulations. I must say, I have to take your word on this, I can't see the balls. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so let's do uh, one more quick fire reach uh, over here. Yep. Read the quote and then give a guess. Okay, uh, I'm totally growing up. Kim, Kim, Kim. Let's save it. Go, beat it back. <coughs> Kim! Kim, congratulations. I'm here with Blue Team. One final round. Why can't we use nuclear weapons? Why can't we use nuclear weapons? Who do we think that is? Definitely Kim. Kim. I'm going to go Kim. Should we just go Kim? Yeah. Kim. Trump. It was Trump. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Which means, all right, at the end, you fall again at a hurdle, and the red team take the points there in that round. Uh, red team are now leading as we head into our final round of today. The final round is an improv game. So we've had an improv troupe uh, come into the studio, act out a news story for us, and we have to find out what it is. Uh, I need your guesses, but we'll see the VT. Here it is. Right, so I want a giant roof, but it needs something to like help prop it up over the entire country. Like, a, like a door? No, because the door's like you can open it, and uh, also there's nothing around it. Like a door that you can't open. Like a like y yeah, like an unopened door. What do you call that? I, I just want to know why you want to do that. It's what sort of what sort of thing are you trying cool, to contain? Cool. Oh, who doesn't love student improv? <laughs> uh, we are going to see what our teams think there. We'll, we'll start with Blues. Blues, what did you think the story was about? I have a feeling that might be about Trump and his wall. You okay. know, it was the you know background of the White House. Yeah, yeah. A bit of confusion over why he wants the wall. So yeah, what do you guys think? Trump? I, I agree with that. Yeah. Okay, Trump and his wall. You, you know, I'm over here. What do you think? We oh. agree. Yeah, we yeah. agree. It's like yeah. a really agree. bad make of a hangover. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah. no wall. Whoa, fantastic. Well, you, you were both right. Both teams get the points there. Uh, it was indeed about Donald Trump and his wall. Uh, Trump, of course, coming to the end of his, his first term. Well, he might get four more years. So what do you reckon? Do you think he'll get another run? No, but we are interested to see who's going to be up against. Maybe Kanye. Yeah. Kanye, you think Kanye 2020? Kanye yeah? 2020, for sure. Come on. Well, who's, uh, Bernie Sanders has already announced that he's going for it. He's kind of like the American Jeremy Corbyn. Uh, anyone, anyone else notable? Hillary Clinton's not doing it. Who would you want if it wasn't Kanye or anybody? Any, yeah. just anybody. Yeah, well, we but him. Did you see Jeremy? Bernie's campaign? No, I didn't see Bernie's. He campaign. was like the only logical sort of like choice, and then the American people said no. Well, there you go. That's the Americans <laughs> for you. Uh, let's see if you did any better in selecting the right things as we reveal the results of today's game. Uh, Reds, how do you think you did today? You quite happy with your performance? Pretty confident. Yeah. 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 Well, Good. I think you you did a very strong performance. I'm I'm I'm, I'm rooting for you guys. Don't tell the Blues. No. Hey guys, uh, I'm rooting for you. Don't tell the Reds. Um, <laughs> bit, of, bit of banter there. Uh, so how do you how do you guys think you did? I feel like if we didn't have Adam. Yeah, average Adam kind of lets down a little bit. I think. No yeah, offense. Adam. I've been letting everyone down since day one. Well, how how has he let you down? Because you've literally not listened to him on anything. So. Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. It, it didn't impact anything. Well, it may, maybe maybe if you heard him out, I've got your back, Adam. Maybe. 
I'll tell you what. You've got a friend in him. I'm gonna, if, if the red team win, I'm going to put you with the winners. You can get there. And it'll just be the dynamic duo, as they say. <laughs> right, well, let's see what the results Reserve. actually were. <laughs> so the red team and blue team competing over the a prize today, which is pride. It's just pride. We didn't have mm. the budget for anything else. <laughs> so, drum roll, please. And the winner tonight is... The Red Team! Yay! Congratulations, Red. It was tight, though. You got four points. The Blues got three. Uh, a very good game. I hope you take this achievement with you throughout your life and, and enjoy this moment. Uh, blues, uh, other than Adam, shame. Shame on you. Uh, Adam, congratulations on winning with the Reds. Uh, that's all from us. Thank you for coming along tonight. Tune in next week for more Current Affairs. And finally, uh, let's go to Charlotte Straw, who'll be closing the show with her song, Little Boxes. Just have been